1.30, by 2 in the afternoon, so 2.30, we'll be arriving to this area over here, okay? And we're gonna stop Maperla, and then, you know, at 3 o'clock, everybody's invited to join us on this nature walk. Sometimes we, we may find those, okay? So, they only climb. Things that we might see, but I keep Oh, I've heard of them, okay? I've heard of them, yeah. And nowadays, there is a, there is a revolutionary, if I can say it that way, medicine that's going on in the Amazon. So the name of, it, of the medicine is Cambo. You ever heard about that? Yeah. Well, the secretion of this rock is collected, all right? And it has very powerful healing chemical compounds, cancer for so many things, because it's so powerful. We got you know, chemical compounds that are so good for the human bodies, all right? So people in Kidos, I saw that, they are offering this experience with the medicine coming from this rock. They get the secretion and they make, you know, incisions to your skin, like six, six holes, and they put, you know, the secretion of the frog, all right? People get, you know, a little bit, some cases people feel like a high because of the chemical compounds. Campo. If you're not familiar with that, you can Google it later on. And you got a lot of information about that. A lot of chances to see tarantulas. Is it true that, that this area has a tarantula that eats birds? Bird eating tarantula, that's right. And it's bird, bird, bird eating tarantula. tarantula. Right. It's about this big. Wow. Depending on if it's female or male that we can find, or juvenile or old. But we got the bird eating tarantula. You heard about that? No. There's a video on YouTube about the tarantula eating a uh, uh, possum. Never heard of that, that tarantula was eating a possum. And it was right, it's like a possum. It ate a uh, possum. Right. The possum is about, well, they are different sizes, but this possum was about this big. All right? And actually caught the possum. So pretty much like that. Also, a, a lot of chance to see snakes. Oh, are we going to see an anaconda? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. In the area where we're going to be doing this walk is actually a communal reserve. Okay. Meaning with this, that this is taken care of by one of the native communities of the area, who come as communities. And they got the jurisdiction, they protect the forest, they protect you know, their land against any pollution or illegal trafficking in there. And that's why uh, we are going to have at least you know, two people escorting us, people who are going to be helping us. Right? And we pay for that. And we are going to be paying for that. Okay? All right. Um, also, in this area, at the end of the boat, there will be a wall bar center. Right. Well, with the food court. That's right. Amazon. So money. Money. Raise your money with you. But notice, what is different? I will tell you one item that you are not going to find anywhere else except in this area. It is carvings made out of porcupine tree. Porcupine tree. Carvings made out of porcupine tree. Porcupine tree. We didn't see you didn't see it. We saw the, four, the porcupine tree, yes. Yeah, we saw the tree. And we're going to see more over there. But the porcupine tree itself, the wood, carve it out, we didn't see that yet. Yeah. Well, and you, when you see that wood, you will understand why it's called the porcupine tree. All right? Not only because of the spikes, but as well, when it's carved it out, it is naturally, so the pattern of the wood looks pretty much like porcupine crayons. All right? Natural, all right? And then make, you know, little fountains, containers with that, in the bowls, things like that, you will find. That wood, you are not gonna find anywhere else, except in that area, right? I had my camera next to the cold water, and it keeps fogging up. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hola. Hi. <laughs>
¿Cuántos años? A mí cinco meses. Cinco meses. Oh, five months. Gracias. George. First of all, let me tell you, let me ask you, are you bringing something to cover or protect your equipment in case of rain? Yes. Oh, this is the porcupine wood. Wow. Well, not as hot as habanero, but yeah, it's, it's kind of hot, but not that hot. Yeah. Oh, it's not done yet, right? It's yeah, not ripe? It's not done yet. What, what's their good. finished shape or size? Uh, no, this is full grown, but it needs to be yellow. But it's yellow. Yeah. Hola. How windy will it yeah, be? Yeah. <laughs> it's from windy. Oh. They will suck it. Mm -hmm. We're just checking the wind, all right? Yeah. That's not good. He's so scared. The rain good. doesn't worry him. It's the wind. Uh, That's the problem. <laughs> oh, you're going to make me smile. <laughs> Smiley face. Uh, Smiley son. Are you trying to coax the sun out? Sun out, the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's happening. Now he says. Jorge is, is, is one of the guys over here who lives in the area. Together with his people over here and the other guy as well. Uh, basically, take care of all this jurisdiction, which is a communal reserve, you know, that belongs to the Kukamas mm -hmm. tribe. Mm -hmm. Right? They know very well the way. I know the way in, but I don't know the way out. Oh. <laughs> That's more important that. than the way in. What did I do 27 years old, Jorge. He was in the service, by the way, military huh? service. Oh. Mm -hmm. Like in the, in the army, in the army, in the army. In the army, in the army, in the army. Yeah, you know how to manage the pistols. Yeah. Machete, too. Yeah. Machete, of course, right? Okay, so he's going to be the man, you know, scouting, you know, along the trail. If he's going to be the man, you know, scouting, you know, along the trail. If he, if he finds something, he will bring it to us. Okay. okay, I asked them a special favor, you know, because we might not walk all the way. Right. So I told the other guy, you know, to share in case they find something to bring it to us. Okay? Oh, we that's sweet. Thank you. Okay, all right, and all of us, we use this for headaches or fever. Oh, Santa, Santa Maria. Maria. We call the Gracias. rainforest island. Oh, <laughs> you just rub it on your forehead. Yeah. Temples? Mm. Smells almost like basil. <laughs> Gonna keep it. Lots of mushrooms. <laughs> I wonder if they're edible. <laughs> and the mushroom basically provides, you know, the antibiotics for humans, eh? All right. so, besides that, the mushrooms are so important for the Amazon rainforest floor because basically they fix the nitrogen. Fix the nitrogen. Oh, I didn't know that. All right. And also the, fa the fungus like this, or mushrooms. So basically decompose the material and then this material will return back to the forest floor. Mm -hmm. And then the rooting system will be able to absorb, you know, the nutrients. Yeah. It's like and a recycling. What, what mushroom is this? This is coral, coral oh, mushroom. Coral. Right. Is it edible? Uh, no. 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 But would you like to try? No. That, if it's not edible. No. <laughs> okay. I have enough problems. <laughs> Another thing uh. is we have Another tree with lots of cuts. Mm -hmm. Every time you see a tree with cuts, is because it must be good some, for something. Mm. And the tree that you see over here got, you know, these rooting systems widespread right on the surface because there's no, I mean, there's not deep nutrients. So roots, roots of the trees are not very deep, it's just very oh, superficial. Yeah. But the tree is called Dr. Oje, O-J-E, Dr. Oje, mm -hmm. okay? Dr. Oje? Doctor, why is doctor? Because it's a medicinal plant. Mm -hmm. All right, Dr. Oje, 
will bleed, you know. The people normally get the cuts or make cuts like this and start bleeding the tree. They collect the sap, all right? And the sap normally is white, like milk. Mm -hmm. That's also why people call milk of oje, okay? So they, they collect like this and they mix with orange juice. Oh, right, they add orange juice. Yeah. And then you drink it. And what's it good for? Ooh, it will kill all kind of parasites. Oh. Okay, parasites is one of the first problems in the Amazon. Yeah. All right, with the children mainly. If you see children with big belly, it's not because yeah. it's, it's, it's a fatty kid. No, no. Mm -hmm. It's because of parasites. Mm -hmm. People with kids, you know, drink the water straight from the river. Mm -hmm. And as kids, you know, they don't boil the plane mm -hmm. and drink the water, right? And that's why they get parasites. And mm -hmm. the people, our people, basically know that getting the sap of this tree, ficus. Ficus mm. insipidus, that's the name of the tree. Mm. All right, and they bleed the tree, collect the sap, and do what they what I told and you. It kills all the parasites. It kills all the parasites. But you get a purge, all right? Mm. You say purge, right? Purge. 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 Okay, thank you. <laughs> so they have to purge in 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So normally this is a, a drunk, you know, people take the medicine around, let's say, 10 at night when people go to sleep. Mm -hmm. And then after you ingest this with orange juice, then you know half an hour you start taking a lot of warm water. No cold water, nor not, not regular, just temporary water. Has to be warm water. Mm -hmm. And you drink that as much as you can. Okay? And obviously that will send you to use the facility <laughs> several times. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Does it taste terrible? And then you know after six hours or eight hours. Uh, basically, you're gonna perch yeah. the sap, yeah. and when you perch the sap, it's, it burns a lot, you know. Oh, yeah. It burns a lot. That means you are purging, and with that, when that happens, you know, that means you know you get rid of, of all the parasites. Wow. And let me tell you, it literally kills all parasites. That's okay? wonderful. That's wow. right. I need the that. The pharmaceutical industries. I don't know if you're familiar with albendazole, mevendazole, mm -hmm. metronidazole, pirantel. All right, mm -hmm. so uh, Oxantel, for example, all those Based derived, on this, you know, from this, well. exactly. All right, this is for all kind of parasites. I'm talking yes. about Ascaris, Trichocephalus, you know, Stongyloides, uh, any kind of parasite, basically. All right, awesome so, and this one, uh, people normally have to drink only, I would say, I don't want to say the old ladies, but our ladies. The senior ladies, grandma, you know. You can say more ladies. Already. Go ahead. You know, people who got the experience already, yeah. see, they are the ones who actually will share that medicine with someone mm -hmm. like you, like me, or, like any, or even kids, you know. Because ladies, especially who, who are by themselves, they are alo alone. They don't have any husbands, nothing like that. Okay? So they are going to be actually giving you the medicine. Why is that? because the medicine is very jealous, all right? Because cannot be given by anybody. No, the person has to be 100%, um, I would say, pure, all right? So when this person gives you the medicine, so the medicine will act, you know, in your organism mm -hmm. and start working out and will clean and then kill all these parasites, all right? What happens if somebody who is not that pure, like a regular person comes, you know, and, and give you the medicine? It's not going to do anything to you. It's just going to purge, you know, and that's it. All right? So, and, and, and the other thing is that sometimes, you know, um, when that happens, if you take the medicine, so what happens is if the medicine will actually have some reaction in you, well, it could be negative. Mm -hmm. And that could mm -hmm. cause you an allergic reaction. Mm -hmm. And people start getting swollen, you know, start swelling up. Mm -hmm. All right? There were cases, for example, when we take the... the, the the oje, basically we, we are told, okay, you are uh, under, uh, you are in a very uh, rigid diet, strict diet. You cannot have, for example, sunlight. So you cannot let the sunlight get you for at least eight days. That means you are inside the mosquito net mm. during the day. During the night you can walk around. You cannot be seen, you know, by anybody, mm. especially wow. people who got sex the night before. Because mm. if that happens, it will affect you. Okay, so people uh, who have the uh, this medicine cannot have, you know, pork meat, cannot have, for example, alcohol, 
Can I have, you know, sours? No pisco sours. No. Mm -hmm. Forget about that. <laughs> and no sex also. Mm -hmm. And in the past, many people die. Believe it or not, but die. Because, you know, they didn't pay attention. They have sex, you know, the next day. Okay, two days later, they start swelling. Mm -hmm. Okay, taken to the hospital. If they have a septicemia, mm -hmm. so general mm -hmm. infection. So they try, they try to control the infection, they couldn't, it was too late, and people mm -hmm. pass away. So these medicines are very serious. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, Obviously, sex is people, bad for you. Our people actually <laughs> uh, believe that it's not only the, the medicine, but as well the spirit of the tree. Mm -hmm. Remember that we are animistic, right. we believe in the spirits of the plants and stuff like that. Okay, he, he, he found something. Oh, okay, I think we can actually. Let's move up there so we can oh. A bird eating tarantula. Wow. Okay. I can't be too excited. I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> wow. Yeah, oh my god. Oh, I wonder where they found this. You guys. Uh, you can come up here and you can get yeah. a good shot as well. So, what do we, we don't want is the, sh the, sh the yeah. shadow on it. Yeah, that's right. Oh that's my god. For pictures. That's a great light. It's amazing. Oh, this does it jump? Juvenile, this is a juvenile bird eating tarantula. <laughs> George, does it jump? So this what, is bird? No? Does it yes. Oh, this one's mainly the uh, uh. hummingbirds. <laughs> <laughs> You're orange. A little bit of things. Yeah, more things, you know. Eric, more, uh, does it jump? Uh -huh. okay. well, He's it, not it, answering it, me. Sting <laughs> first, George. Okay. They sing, they can yeah, sting, right? It stings and they're starting, you know. Getting you know the the, the blood you know. What is, what is the moth doing in what the back? What is the moth with it? Oh, the moth is just by mistake over there. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Eh? <laughs> but but look 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 at the, what the moth moth is doing. What yeah. is he doing? Do you think is that is that the head of the moth? What do you think? Oh, that's the back of the moth. That is the back of the moth. Oh, that's the a moth. Uh, Wait. I don't think so. Which is the front and which but, is the back? But, I don't know. And you know what? It's checking the leaf. Oh. It's checking the leaf probably. It doesn't leave. realize that there is a tarantula? There is, no, no, I have, have no idea. All right. Would the tarantula the eat the moth? Too. Exactly, exactly. Oh, Would the tarantula eat the moth? No, it's too small. It's too small? It's not, it's not gonna bother? Yeah, it's gonna be juicy, you know. That's do, a big one. Do they jump? The tarantula? Um, yeah. They may jump. They may jump? Get closer, Nancy. All right. All right. Okay, you oh get it? Oh my god. Yes. Okay, now, uh, while you're actually I have never observing seen a moth this, in that detail. So while you're observing this, you can actually check, you know. So look at the big eyes, the, guy, like, the compound eyes that it has I over think, here. I only see one okay. eye on top. No, no, no. It's there. Where they are, are like a, oh, yeah. four eyes, actually. Yeah. Four? What do you yeah, see four? Let's see. Yeah, they got like a one, two, three, four, five, six, actually. Six. Right there. Oh my okay. god. Can you yeah. see one? So, one the top. Can you see? Can you see a little, oh, little dot? Yeah, right, right. Jeanette. Always, yeah, that's right. All six eyes can, you, can yeah. you see? And then you know, I don't think, I, I don't think Jeanette came close. This is what we call the exoskeleton. Let right. me get out of the way. Okay, go ahead. Hold on. All right, there you got that. Take a good shot, huh? Did you see? All right. Yeah. So four legs in each side, because if you think it's six, no. The, these two in front basically are the fillers. Oh. All right, those are the fillers, basically, to check, you know, the prey. But if we actually look down below, they got big fangs. Oh yeah? Very strong jaws actually. Is it the right. girl? All right, you can actually observe. Sure. Have a look very close because it's actually cooperating. It's not gonna jump. No, it's not gonna, no, jump, it's jump, not gonna jump. But you can get close. Is it the girl? Alright, look at that. Sorry? It's a girl. It's a girl. Female. I, I, it's I'm, a girl. How do you know? Yeah, but it's a but it's a young one. They will get three times the size of that. Oh, really? Wow. Okay, yes. Wow. It will be about oh, this. Look at all that hair. Look at all the hair, son. Uh, by the way, the, are you familiar with hunting wasps? You heard about hunting wasps. In, in the Amazon, the hunting wasps, it's about a wasp, black color, very shiny body, and about this big. Uh, See? How big? About this big. Really? Yeah, oh. huge wasp. A wasp. That's what we call giant hunting wasp. And they are the main predators of the tarantulas, mm. okay? So they can eat the tarantula, but also they can use the tarantula as their ex carrier, mm. all right? So what happened is that the, the, the big wasp can get over here and inject, you know, the eggs right inside the abdomen of oh, the really? tarantula, all right? Isn't With the time, something? they will evolve 
and eventually will will eat the tarantula so all the larvae will eat the tarantula from inside, inside out, out. Oh. so sometimes we find you know the whole tarantula just you know the empty mm -hmm. it's because you know the larvae of the wasp ate it all all right so you can see over here and the and this part of the exoskeleton is where the nerve system is right the central nerve system is located so that's why the hunting was come over here and inject you know uh, the the sting over here and paralyzes mm. so the tarantula is paralyzed it's starting to move. and can move all right so you can know you get out the hairy part the hair also are excellent feelers because we'll tell the tarantula if there is a predation if there is dangers around those kind of things all right so the hair also that is right on the abdomen is being used by the tarantula for natural protection. It's a defense mechanism. If there is a predator, not the, the wasp, but other kind of predator coming to eat the tarantula, tarantula will wrap these two legs, you know, and then the hair will be expelled right in the air mm. and it will be suspended. Obviously the mammal or whoever this, this uh, animal wants to eat the tarantula, if they get one hair in the eyes, it's so painful yeah. so they are not gonna eat the tarantula so the, the tarantula will go away yeah. okay that's a problem yeah. all right what do you, yeah. what would it happen if you know like we touched it oh, if you touch it yeah all right that's the last that's... thing you're gonna do <laughs> no really is it is it venomous uh, to human no, is it dangerous to humans it's, it's painful if it, if, if, it, if, if you, you get, get a bite it, huh? yeah do okay it? i don't want to touch it i'm just saying <laughs> Here, the tarantulas that we have in the Amazon are not poisonous. But certainly, certainly, there's one spider, which is the recluse. The recluse oh, yeah. spider? Yeah. Yeah, the brown recluse. The brown recluse. We have, we have recluse. those, they are big ones over here. Really? And they are pretty bad. Oh. And people don't know. But the case is when, when, when you are bit by tarantulas, uh, it will depend on the level of allergy you have. Mm -hmm. Many people don't know if you are allergic to, <coughs> or if yeah. you are allergic to the tarantula's bite. I remember one of the chefs, you know, getting a bunch of bananas. They found out this tarantula got bit. Yeah. Faint. Well, yeah. Had to be taken to the hospital, oh. you know, <coughs> corticoids and all of those kind of things. Fortunately, there was a hospital close by, and he saved his life. All right. But we never know how how, how you may react. That's the the only thing. All right. Can I but release if you, him? If you were in the past, you no, know, he will actually take you know, to the other group. Oh. All right. To, to also, the other group first. didn't see them yet. Yeah. Probably. Oh, yeah. Who found them? You found it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, muchas gracias, señor. They are living okay. homes. They are living homes. How can you find him? Can you ask him where he found it? Donde dice las encontrado? Ahí en la baja está en su nido. Ahí me voy a dejar. There is a hole. There is a hole. Put it back in there. Ah, oh, that's and good. Because these tarantulas are territorial. Oh, so they have their own territory. <laughs> they are territorial. All right, walking closer because this looks pretty much like legs. Yeah, it does look All like right? legs. Mm -hmm. But also the other reason is because a tree like this is able to move per year approximately like a three feet. You know. oh, really? Feet. Oh. All right. So what do they, what do the root actually does? Two things. It follows the light. So it's, we can say it's kind of heliotropic. Mm -hmm. All right. But at the same time, looks for the nutrients. All right. But uh, also it will be determined by the tree if the rooting system, the next rooting system that will come up from here, all right, will be sent in this direction or in the other direction. Mm. How come? Because sometimes, you know, the tree is inclining mm -hmm. like this, it needs more, more support in the other part. Mm. So, so that's may something. Actually send over there, or in this part to pull, you know, basically the tree. <laughs> I never knew that. And from this side, all right? Mm. That, that's, that's a smart tree. tree. Yeah, it is, it is. Ah. Long ago, Look at uh, that. I'm talking about in 1997, 1998, Somebody came with this apparently theory that says, you know, trees are able to think. And I said, trees are able to think, but they don't have brain. How they can think? All right. And, and for me, it was a baloney thing, you know, not baloney. For a moment, we didn't understand. But nowadays, for example, we know that plants are able basically to talk to each other mm -hmm. to communicate yeah. so they and they are able to think to think mm -hmm. all right and what way so it says you know that this is an electrochemical communication all right so in this moment for example they are irradiating you know energy 
and sometimes we don't feel it, mm -hmm. all right, but it, they are irradiating in it. They are also expelling, you know, chemicals. That the way, in that, in that way, you know, that the tree over there will actually have the connection with this tree, or the tree over there will know what kind of tree this is, mm -hmm. and so on, all right? The trees are able to feel. You ever heard about that? Yeah. Trees are able to feel. They can feel your energy, your energy is low, of you are a very nice person, of you are a weak person, I mean, you're a bad person. They are able to feel, okay? And they are able also to recognize who the assassin of trees are. One sample. <laughs> two trees together, they put in a, in a, let's say, same species, one, two, three. They actually enclose the trees. And another, the same species, that was like uh, maybe 15 yards away. Mm -hmm. A guy came and they started chopping the tree over there. All right? And the tree fell down. Okay, they put, you know, the ele electrodes, I think you call it? Electrodes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Put over here. Before the guy actually chopped down the tree. And when they, they chopped the tree, but the guy chopped the tree, the plants were like uh, making certain reactions. Mm. And then the same guy who killed the tree came into the room and you know the the electro uh, how do you call this electrocardiogram like an mm -hmm. electrocardiogram this basically thing start reacting you know, oh my I'm god you, when the guy walk in the guy walk yeah. in and you know my sister was telling me that and that is true and um, the final role one day long ago also uh, the reaction of these plants that has been discovered not long ago, it was all already described by the Bible, okay? The Bible, I think it's in the chapter of Romans or, or one of those, if I'm not wrong, it talks about, you know, the, the living creatures, so the, na the nature of God, you know, that is all this creation, also are interconnected with humans. And basically, you know, they feel, you know, the, the energy of all, of all of us and we are interconnected, all right? And it's been, it's been described in the Bible, and nobody pay attention, mm -hmm. until recently, okay? And that is what we call nowadays, you know, uh, I think it's called the, the Consciousness of the Plants. That is mm -hmm. the book yeah, written the, the Consciousness of the Plants, okay? Is that common to have oh, all these the way, spikes? The way to finish. You can touch this. Aye. It's kind of spiky. Very spiky. But let me tell you, since this is not this is not poisonous, in the past, for example, our people to make farina, you have to grate ah. the farina. And this is they a natural a, grater. Like, yeah. Okay? So you can actually grate over here. So wow. you can piece over here, take a home, and then you start grating, you know, the tapioca. <laughs> All right? Yeah. It's very spiky. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's something. And this is the habit. Which one? Bush mustard. Bush mustard, uh, scientifically called, is Lachesis immuta. Mm -hmm. Means, you know, uh, silence death. <laughs> <laughs> and why did you mention that now? <laughs> Was that in casual conversation? <laughs> you can feel it, touch it if you like. It's a mushroom. Mm -hmm. India, the country India, is exporting this in powder. If you actually dry it out and then you grind it up, it. it turns into powder. That you can mix this powder with water and it turns pretty much like coffee. Mm -hmm. Coffee? Like coffee. It tastes taste almost, yeah, it, it almost tastes pretty much like coffee. And people are drinking this for liver inflammation, kidney problems, you know, stomach problems. All kind of problems, okay? Okay, okay let's take it to La Perla. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh my God! Look. Gamo, Gamo Derma. Gamo Derma. Very hard. All right, Gamo Derma, go back. Even though I would like to take you, maybe we'll. Diaphragm uh, paralyzer. Okay, it paralyzes your diaphragm. Diaphragm. So, diaphragm. Stop breathing. Okay. Oh my gosh. Stop breathing, in other words. Nancy, look. Look at that. It's a frog. Okay. It's a poison frog. Poison. Uh -huh. Oh, he looks like the blue jean. 
a little. So the, the life history of the frog is they basically make a curare from the, this. The frogs normally like that will lay the well. They will oh spawn, you know, in the little patches of water that are from after rain. Mm -hmm. Okay, and since that patch of water basically is there for three or four days, you know, spawn. They are spawning over there, and once you know the spawn turn into <laughs> into the, the okay, into the. Uh, where is it? Okay, yes, flew the it. It's in your on your. It's on my backpack. On your back. <laughs> yeah, they're not going to take him on the ship with you. Okay. That's we are looking for him. Where, where? Wow. Where was he? I got a lady, I got a lady. Where was he? I got a lady. I got a lady. I got a lady. Was he on me? Apparently he was for a moment, but then he left. <laughs> you want him again. Oh, he's good. <laughs> well, there, there, there's a lot of information about that. Uh, what makes it poisonous? Uh, okay? And it's basically the diet. And what do they eat? Uh, they eat fire ants. <laughs> oh, fire ants. Oh, oh, they wow. eat fire ants. Oh, yeah. 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 That's something we Texans know about. Fire ants. <laughs> and, wow. and, and, and how we know that? Because uh, basically these frogs were taken to the United States for studies. All right? And they they build like a little uh, I think I think you call te terrarium or something mm -hmm. like that yeah. terrarium mm -hmm. yeah. okay uh, so they tiny. put it in there uh, 25 days you know they were trying to get you know the the secretion of the frog they got it but there was there was no alkaloids no poison all right and they were trying to figure out what happened and it's basically you know if the frog doesn't have the right food uh -huh. it's not gonna produce right. the other, yeah all right oh. so the uh, the the uh, fire ants got formic acid. And the formic acid yeah. is ingested by the frog, it metabolizes, and it turns into, into batratoxins, mm -hmm. all right? That's what happens. So uh, that's why uh, the frog is poisonous. And then we say, you are what you eat. What's the name again? Poison dart frog. Is that the official name? Well, the official name would be orange back poison frog. Okay. okay? And how does, you know, like, so he would poison you by touching him? Uh, no, by uh, being uh, exposed to your open open wounds okay. or ingested, okay. all right? While you don't have that uh, exposure, exposure, so it's, it's okay. okay. So, no so the, the, the poison is like around him? It's, it's like a membrane? On the back, on, basically on the back. On the back. Because in the back, if you actually can get a good shot of that <clears throat> uh, and you enhance it, you enlarge that, you can see the pores, you know, yeah. almost microscopic, but you can see it. From that, mm -hmm. those pores is when it gets, you know, excited or feels threatened. So ah, basically, start it's expelling it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Start expelling. That would be, it's like a no predation on this. Mm -hmm. If somebody will eat this frog, for sure will die. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's so basically like that. So he doesn't feel threatened now, you don't think? Well, he's, he's actually pressing the, the, the leg to avoid jumping off. Oh. oh. <laughs> because, yeah. I just noticed. Uh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Gracias, Jorge. Beautiful. That is amazing. Oh, you can get it. You have micro? Yeah. Ah. Okay. Y Maybe we finalmente. can see the pores. Y finalmente. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> you caught him twice. Cool. Gracias. Gracias. <laughs> oh, he's letting him go. Well. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> oh, gracias. How are we with the wolf so far? See, he's cowering for us. Mm -hmm. oh, see, oh, see. Yeah, giant heliconia, like the other one we saw. The thunder? Inside the thunder. Okay. Frogs. Frogs? That's frogs? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a lot of frogs. Yes, there is a plant that's almost like a blueberry. Uh, no, no, it's not poisonous. But you know what? Uh, it's, it's basically hallucinogenic. Mm -hmm. Hallucinogenic. Uh, the plant is called Melastomatesi, Psychotria, Psychotria by Ridis. Oh, hot lips! Oh, you know, oh. to make the ayahuasca. Oh. Remember the ayahuasca yeah. with the shaman? Oh, yeah. Okay, they actually boil, you know, ayahuasca with this plant as well, oh. in order to make it much stronger. Mm -hmm. 
All right. So it enhances the powers of the ayahuasca. ayahuasca. What's the name of it? Psychotra viridis or hot lips in English. Okay. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Hot lips. The Angelina Jolie lips. Angelina Jolie. That's the porcupine tree? Oh, look at that. These are, not, these are torn, but they are not poisonous. Okay, uh, in the, the past, quail. for example, you can touch it too. In the past, our ladies uh, obviously didn't have, you know, the metal. Mm -hmm. So in order for sewing, yeah, you know, yeah. doing this kind of thing, yeah. they use this. They prepare basically the string made out of the palm tree fiber, rub it in their skin, they make a very fine string, oh, and they tie it up, mm -hmm. and exactly, and they start doing mm -hmm. sort of kneading, weaving, oh, basically. Yeah. Uh, in the past, also the whole <laughs> spine, <laughs> it was also oh, used yeah. as a dart. Oh, so I can see it. You know the curar in the tip of that, mm -hmm. and they actually used to shoot, mm -hmm. right? The poison darts. Not as good as a needle because it breaks. <laughs> <laughs> this tree, but no, no, when you have nothing, this is good. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. What's hollow inside the quills? The quill. Mm. I throw it down. Well, I it he says that rain is going away. That we use in order to get the paltry fiber to mm. dry it out, you know, shred it and dry it out. That's something that we saw, the process mm. we saw right in the village. Remember yeah. that? Yeah. yeah. This is the, this is basically the Oh, when she got the soft and the hard uh, part of the palm. Yeah. But she was so patient that year. She was good, yeah. Well, years of experience. Yeah. Go ahead. If you look around, you see skinny trees, all right? And when they are the small trees, it's hard to recognize what kind of trees they are because uh, we need first, you know, to see the fruits. And that's very hard to recognize because sometimes, you know, you don't find, unless you know the leaves. Uh, here, there is a lot of competition with the trees, among the trees, you know, because uh, a, a seed germinates over here when the light strikes right on the forest floor. Okay? And if that happens, so the plant will grow fast, you know, and try to reach another you know, canopy. Mm -hmm. Once it gets the canopy, okay, then it's gonna take its time to nourish itself mm -hmm. in terms of getting bigger and bigger and bigger. But priority for all the plants get to the sunlight. And reach, the sun you know, the, the, the light. Okay? And that is true because only 2% of the light will get to the mm -hmm. forest floor. Well, so imagine that. Light. So 98 is on the canopy, a little bit around in the low canopy, but that's what happens. All right? That's what happens over here. You just imagine skinny trees over here. Also, leaves. At this point, we got, you know, broad leaves, big leaves, like this, you know. But if you look up and the trees higher and higher, the leaves are much smaller. Mm -hmm. For two reasons. One is because the nutrients doesn't get mm -hmm. all the way up to the top, mm -hmm. not enough. Second reason is because the plants know that there are certain months in the year that there's gonna be a lot of windstorm. They don't wanna be big. Because otherwise you're gonna drop more air. And then you know, dropping more air, more pressure, and they don't have deep roots and they fall down mm -hmm. easily. And in here, it's pretty much like that. You see fallen trees, you know, it's because of that, all right? So when sometimes you ask, you know, how long does a tree live in the Amazon or may live in the Amazon? So we say the, most, the, the oldest tree in the Amazon is like a 250 year, years old. Not even 4,000, 2,000, it's 250 years old, right? So which one is the cedar? That big one? The big one. Over there. Cedar, huh? Yeah, that's right. Very expensive wood now. Yeah, very expensive. It's protected, right? We are protected. Look at the ant highway right there. The Camino al Picos. We got busy. He said, you know that 
he was looking for the frogs, you know. Yeah. And then he he actually stepped and falls and he fell down, oh, you know. Oh. <laughs> and we look around, there was a there was a, a slot, you know, up in the tree. Oh, a slot. <laughs> A little bit on the way out. You think he's going to be there on the way back? Well, he's a sloth. It's not going to move. It's not going to move. Can you fall down again and find an anaconda for us? <laughs> because people uh, uh, don't know much about the tree. Uh, but the porcupine tree has, for example, other other uses for our people. If you look up there, uh, there is a certain time of the year where they produce, you know, nuts, nuts? Like fruits, okay, like oh. a coconut, oh, okay. tiny ones, mm. and that's mm. what people collect and eat the coconut milk mm. inside mm. because mm. it's like a coconut. Like yeah, a coconut. yeah, mm. it's, it's small. It's, but it's small, about this big. Oh, it's not the right time now. No, 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 no. <laughs> when when oh, is no, the right time? This is in February when they chambira, eh? Yes, the stand. Yes, I don't know. Ah, He's gonna get one? He's gonna get it. Yay! <laughs> that's good, that's good. They are used to it. They are used to the woods. This is probably like a highway to them. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right, that's right. Exactly. When I was a kid, we used to play a lot you know, in the bush, you know, not worry about snakes, nothing like that. <laughs> and if by chance you find a snake, obviously you kill the snake. And you eat the snake. Nah, we didn't eat the snake. Because in, in my community, we don't eat snakes. But there are other people. Yeah, they eat, they them. eat the snake. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but not they said they like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody like actually chicken. in the group ate snake and really? told us that it tastes pretty good like chicken. Yeah. Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! Are you saying that? Are you telling the truth? Wow! Look at that! Look at that! Whoa! Oh, oh my gosh! Whoa! Okay. Awesome! Wow! Wow! Okay. 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 Now they're not poisonous, they squeeze? No, they squeeze, they're, yeah. yeah. yeah they Boa constrictor, right? Sorry. He's mm -hmm. actually a... He's stretching. Can you get a piece He's looking at George. No He's not looking at us. <laughs> He's looking at the guy with the machete. <laughs> Now he's looking at you, Eric. <laughs> From way back here, I can get a picture. <laughs> oh, yeah. you Hide behind picture? your wife. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. It's about to strike, eh? Yeah, yeah. you can tell. Don't, don't be scared if you can tell. Okay, well, the way we are too far, no? Snakes will you never know. That position, yeah. basically for protection. Yeah, the position, poor thing is probably say, scared. How high can you jump? Uh, can you reach us here? It, it will get up to here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go. Look at oh, no, it's, it's, it's no, sliding no, back. That position is telling the old mesa with me, yeah. and it's trying to expand, you know, the body, <laughs> so it can show you how big I am. Yeah. So don't don't try to mess up with me. Yeah. All right, look at that. Yeah. This is a, this is the look at red, the tongue. Red tail boa. Red tail mm -hmm. boa. Come on, guys. It's a constrictor. Okay, look 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 at the tail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful tail. Yeah. So beautiful, eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, and yeah. they basically are. He's on going the, the wrong way. <laughs> the silly but, thing. But, He's but going to George. The, the patterns of the of the body, the colors. You see? Uh, the snake he basically, wants to go you know, away. He's, He's stretching to tell you how big I am. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you are not gonna dare to fight with me because you're gonna lose. Yeah, he's absolutely That's what he's trying to say. He doesn't care. Yeah, no, no. Well, they are reptiles. They, they, they have no fear. They have no sense of fear. So Who? reptiles have no sense of fear. Who doesn't have a sense of fear? Hum uh, I mean, the cold blooded animals, mm -hmm. mammals. That means that well, we, he, he seems chickens, to be afraid. You know, all kind of mammals. Cold blooded? No, they don't have a sense of fear. All right, it is what it is. If you have to attack, I don't care if I'm gonna die, they just will attack. All right, pretty much like that. Yeah, okay. So you just leave it to wander back off the road? Yeah, but yeah, that's right. Oops, oops. Yeah, does it hurt if he bites you? Well, it, it hurts if he bites. 
Yeah. It can give it's you a poisonous. nasty bite. It's no, no, it's not. No. It's, it's a constrictor. Uh, they can get up to 12 foot long, eh? like, a, yeah. like a four How old do you think? <laughs> and, and when they are four, four meters, they are about this big. Here. And let me tell you, it's all... Oh, long. he's shedding! Look! He's shedding off, right? He's shedding! Yeah, Look at the tail! Oh, That's supposed to be good luck. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Is it good luck? Good, good luck? You can even see on the face yeah, he's shedding. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Can you tell if it's a male or a female? Just shut it, they we we cannot uh, shake yeah, it and see if it, if it sounds, you know. No! Sounds. I thought you shake everything. Do they shed once a year? Once a year, yeah. yeah. Well, it, depending on the size. If they are normal twice a year. Twice a year. The, big, the bigger they get, it will be longer, you know, for yeah. the... And for then fatter, right? The fatter, exactly. Exactly. Oh, you're beautiful. Right, you're now look at the difference in color between the shed part and the... Yeah, it's the other is bigger. Yeah, the other one is brand new. Yeah, it's much brighter. <coughs> much, brighter <coughs> much brighter, exactly, exactly. Yeah. That is true. Oh my God. Yeah. Here you are. Yeah. Okay. He's posing oh. now. Oh, take my picture. Okay. 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 Yeah. Hey, baby. Don't have a pony. That's amazing. He's going he's gonna to put it back in the, where they found it. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> because also, this is makes that kind of ter territorial. Mm -hmm. So they move in the area, they catch, you know. And oh, look at thing. that. Look at the shedding. Oh, don't take him. Well, basically, because everybody... Uh, okay. Oh, my God, they that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Jorge, yeah. gracias. Yeah. Muchas gracias. In the, in the part where is the pelejo? Yeah. No, the, frog, the monkey frog, no? No, the monkey frog they were looking very hard for. If he finds one, can he bring him down? Sure. The monkey frog? Sure, monkey frog. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, can I, George? Can I can I lift him? Can I do it? Can I lift him? Lift him? No, no. <laughs> oh my God. No. Can I? Can I hold it? Gracias, Jorge. Muchas gracias. Oh my God. Oh. Oh my God. I can't believe it. I'm gonna come with you. Oh. Oh my goodness. He's gonna put him back. Oh my God. That was awesome. <laughs> I'm in the Amazon forest all by myself. Oh, oh my God. Awesome. Just me and the forest. Oh my God. I love these alone moments. Well, something to treasure, but it cannot last forever. Beautiful. Time to head back. Look at these beautiful steps out of uh, slices of wood, trunk. Look what he did. <laughs> Gracias, senor. <laughs> look, look how cute. Oh my God, it does a good job. He just chopped it down. <laughs> Gracias, Jorge. What did they find? A sloth. Ah. Oh my God, they're bringing out the sloth. <laughs> No. <laughs> awesome. Oh, the poor baby. Oh, my God. Where did they find him? On the ground? No, they chopped him out of his tree. He chopped down the tree. Okay.
He's moving pretty fast right now. Yeah, well, he needs to. <laughs> well, he's trying to get away. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. You think he's scared? Oh, my goodness, look at that. It's like he's racing. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen this sloth move that fast. <laughs> I've never seen a sloth move. Get him. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, that's nice, that's nice. Leave it, leave it. Leave it. No. Leave it. <laughs> what do you mean, no? Look, look at the patch. This is a sort of juvenile, eh? Look at yeah, the patch yeah, yeah. on the back. That yeah. means it's a male. Oh, oh, it's, it's a male. male. It's not a juvenile, it's not a mature one. All right, so... Oh, that's a nice one. We can't find anything to hold on to. Okay. Okay. Wow. That must be hard. So you can see the face also, right? Yeah, yeah it's perfect. Wow. Hi. Look, 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 at the, look at the arms, how it's actually posing. Yeah. yeah. You know what? Well, he's looking for something to hold. Because whatever, you know, feels get close and try to bother or eat him. So this is what he's going to do. And, and exactly what what is he going to do? Yeah, it's like slapping, but with the claws. Yeah. Try to tear you, tear you like this. And well, yeah, those claws probably those claws will do it. Tear you the pieces. Okay. All right. That's looking good. at me. Are you looking at me? Oh. He's trying oh, to find oh. something to grab. Yeah. Yeah, there you are. Wow. And, and again, the position like this. Hey, baby. Know. You see? Here. Whatever you want to grab it, it's grab this. this you know. yeah. That's the Here. defense mechanism. Get rich. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Nancy, wow. you might just get. Careful. Yeah. Did you hear the what, what yeah. yeah. He made a sound. Like, oh. He gave you the sound? Yeah. 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 So you was that him? No, I was in a tree. Then he's going Look to climb him. up. You know. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Grab us. this. Nancy, be careful. Well, Nancy, huh? grab this. That's very close to your hand. Yeah. He right. wants to grab something. We're going to leave this lot already yeah. alone. Okay? <laughs> he can do okay. it himself. Huh? Thank you, Jorge. Gracias. 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 Muchas gracias, Jorge. Let's go ahead and buy this. Oh, hi, baby. Hola. Uh, oh, my goodness. So, you think he's a male, right? I can't believe you guys were able to do this. You're amazing. <laughs> Why are you doing that? What happens when you blow? It turns around. Uh, okay, there you got up. Let me get at you. Oh my God, that's a good spot. Are you going to put him back or he's going to go out by himself? Eric, he's going to put him back or he's going to leave him there? Can I stay for a little while? Just a little. George, I'm going to just stay for a little while. To stay from far away. Yeah. I promise I'll be okay, I promise. I'm not going closer, I promise, I swear to God.
I'm just zooming in. I'm not going closer. Oh, bye, baby. Bye, sweetheart. I'm coming. Oh, that was awesome. Bye. Thank you. No, no, oh my goodness. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> She's gonna okay, come, come with us? Come. Yay. <laughs> Good job. Oh, I wish I had something. I don't have any. Yeah, you have? I don't have anything. I don't have no. We can oh. take her to dinner. ¿Qué es su nombre? ¿Qué es su nombre? Oh, I can give her some drops. Kelly? Kelly? You said Kelly? Okay. Uh, my name is oh. Nancy. I don't know. Ah, gracias. Gracias. Oh, I wish I had the pen. Bye. Can I have a pen? I don't have. Bye. Oh, that was awesome. Oh my God. One of the best visits ever. We are so blessed. Look at this. Oh, he's adorable. We should call him George. George found him. <laughs> Well, you found the slot for us. Oh my God, I love this time of the day. No, oh, I want to take the sunset, but I don't want to turn that out. Beautiful. Our home is waiting.